Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I just got back from my one of the many Ethiopian stores in Jerusalem. I realized we're really so lucky uh, to have such an abundance of Ethiopian restaurants and Ethiopian specialist African stores here in not only Israel, but specifically in Jerusalem. I know a lot of uh, Ethiopian food fans, I probably would have never found it if not for these restaurants, have a very hard time getting ingredients even as simple as Berbere. So thankfully we don't have that struggle here in Jerusalem. One thing I've never cooked yet is uh, shiro. So this is the ready-made shiro powder which you'll find all over the shelf in Ethiopian grocery stores, at least if the ones here are anything to go by. It's often stored just like this on the shelf in these really simple bags next to other bags of burabure and mitmita. So it can be a little bit confusing. So I always ask the store owners uh, to show me where the shiro is and they're always so, so helpful and uh, gracious when they find someone uh, enthusiastic in their cuisine. So this is the shiro powder. Shiro, if you haven't had it before, it's chickpea stew and it's often one of the wats that they store, uh, that they serve up on the injera in that uh, vegetarian wat. So I've never cooked it before. I did find ingredients for shiro um, in regular stoves. What I'm going to try to do today is figure out how to cook this on in the instant pot. Now the ingredients, the ratio I found is, I can probably stop holding this up, right? The, the ratio I found online is one to three cups of water. So I'm going to be dicing an onion, um, very simple recipe, a bit of onion, uh, sauteed for a few minutes, um, then putting in the shiro powder, and then adding three cups of water on top, stirring regularly so that it doesn't stick, and uh, let's see if this works. Okay, so how I made this. Firstly, take a medium white onion, and as I wrote here, if you are into Ethiopian cooking, you should uh, get lots of onions because pretty much every dish, every wat that I've cooked has started off with uh, this kind of classic finely diced onion and then uh, slowly caramelized kind of a situation. So my local Ethiopian restaurant I know also brings in onions in huge uh, boxes. Um, so two tablespoons of olive oil to get the onions frying and uh, just, you know, as usual, you want to just kind of get the translucent so you get a bit of color in them. Then you come in with your shiro powder, so that's one uh, level cup of shiro powder. I just literally took it out of the bag. And you want to start stirring this right away because it's 75% flour, so it's going to stick very quickly unless you don't. Um, so after one minute, just to kind of uh, toast the um, powder a little bit, then you want to come in with your water. Three to four cups is what I found. I used uh, three and it came out fine, but you know, four would be a little bit less thick if you prefer it like that. Um, I use the soup setting on my instant pot and I set it for 25 minutes but actually only ended up uh, cooking for 10 and it was done. So again you want to keep stirring the entire time you're cooking this because it is basically flour and a bit of water. Um, and make sure to get around the edges so you don't get any burning there that's going to kind of spoil the whole flavor. Um, I added about one uh, teaspoon of salt uh, to get but some powders might have salt in them. So the best way to know when it's done is just to taste it now and again using a stick spoon into it. And after 10 minutes, um, the raw flavor of the chickpea flour was gone. It tasted delicious, the salting was fine, and it was ready. And then just serve it on some bread. You can either use injera or you can use a flat bread like taboon. And it works and it's really, really delicious and it's a great filling, healthy lunch. 